Alright guys, I hope you're ready for this one. We are going to put a fav icon into your WordPress blog. Now fav icon is this little guy right here, this little icon, and a lot of people actually say, professionals say that uh, it helps your SEO ranking, and it just looks darn right cool if you ask me. So I want you guys to open up your browser and go over to favicongenerator.com. Uh, this is a site I've found that's free that seems to do a pretty good job. There's other ones out there, but I, there's no reason not to use this one uh, that I've found. And you're just going to follow these instructions. You want to make sure your picture is square, um, so it's not rectangle shaped or anything like that. You're going to insert the picture, and we're going to go here to pictures, and we're going to pick one of my pictures. Uh, where's my money bags? Alright, I didn't want to make you guys sit there while I tried to look for it. So, you get it. I got the picture loaded in here. And you just hit the generate fav icon button. And look at that. There's the little guy right there. So we're going to hit click here to download your fav icon. and there we go and then here's a little bit of code so I just leave this window open what you're gonna wanna do now is um, you're gonna need to use an FTP program to upload this image to your WordPress blog now don't be too scared this is pretty simple we can go to download.com I think is the name of it yeah, here we go. And download.com, go ahead and type in Core FTP. It's a free FTP program that you can also use for uploading um, ads that you design to magazines. So it'll be good. And so go ahead and download that. And then when you guys are finished, we're going to go, I'm going to actually open mine up right here. We're going to need to connect to my website. So, I'm going to put in my information. Alright, I put in my information. Now you're going to connect. And I didn't mean to jump ahead there, but the information that you're going to enter is the same information you put in when you created that WordPress blog. So it's going to be the username you gave it. Um, the password that you put there um, and the URL so it's nothing too fancy you just do everything that you did in WordPress when you created it what you're going to want to do now is go to your public HTML folder which is this guy right here uh, right here on the right side of the screen is your website uh, over here on the left is your computer so we're going to go to public HTML we open that up. Now we go over here and find your picture. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna jump ahead and find it real quick. Alright, now if you didn't change where the fab icon saves, it's gonna save right here on your desktop. So you're gonna want to navigate to your desktop and find it. And the easiest thing to do is just double click it and make sure it's on transfer and hit OK. And just like that, we are done. Look at that. Piece of cake. Made it over. So you can go ahead and close this and we'll go on to our next step. Alright guys, here we are at the next step. You're going to want to open up another browser make sure you leave your fav icon generator open still open up another browser and head on over to this url http codex.wordpress.org forward slash fav icon dot ico uh, if you typed in the url correctly or if i told it to you correctly you'll be at a screen just like this now we're going to scroll down to number five right here and you're gonna highlight this and you're gonna copy that 
And now we <laughs> head over to our next step. There's a lot of steps and they're all small, but uh, we're almost done. Alright gang, well, here we are at our next step. Uh, you're going to open up another tab and you're going to go to your domain name. Mine, the one that I'm doing it here is wesayforyou.com and you're going to enter forward slash wp um, dash or minus admin forward slash. Uh, you don't really need that last forward slash. Um, and it's going to take you to a member login or a login password screen and if you didn't change your defaults on that uh, your username is going to be admin and then whatever password you set for the website and once you hit that you're going to come to this screen and what we're going to do here is now put in two pieces of code and we are all done so what you do from here is you click the design tab then you click the theme editor <laughs> and then you click the header and now you just have the lovely job of um, finding your head tags which I'm gonna find real quick alright I found it here's my head tag here uh, this is the end of it so this will um, hash right there means the uh, it's closing the, the code so you can just make sure you put it in above that and the two lines of code you're gonna put in is you're gonna put in these two this line of code right here that we went and got I'm gonna copy that and paste that in there and then drop down a line and then go to the fab icon generator and you're gonna grab this code you're gonna copy that and you're gonna paste that in there and voila you hit update file and if everything worked correctly uh, sometimes you'll have to do this so let's do this um, beforehand you're gonna go to tools and you're gonna go clear private data and you're gonna turn all these off and you need to clear your cache sometimes you need to do that so we're gonna do that now so hopefully it works and I don't look like a total buffoon in front of you guys which I should be used to but uh, here we go and let's give it a shot hey look at that now that's a pretty small icon so I might pick a different one but that looks a lot better than that stupid piece of paper and now you've learned a little SEO trick and you've learned a little something that might make you cooler than your buddy which that's let's be honest that's what it's all about alright guys until next time take it easy